The Senna Bogan 690HD crawler crane has a maximum lifting capacity of 90 tonnes and a main boom length of up to 57.9 metres. It's a duty cycle machine which means it's good for repetitive work and this model is configured with a grab for excavating diaphragm wall panels. The Senebogan branded box is quite large and that's because the model arrives fully reeved and assembled. Releasing the model from the packaging is quite a challenge because it's secured to the polystyrene tray by some very tightly wound ties. It takes quite some time and effort to remove all of the ties from the back of the box. And when you've done all that you can then turn the box back over but in fact the model is still not free because there are even more ties securing the bottom of the model to the tray. Finally and after being careful how you remove the ties the model comes out of the box. The only thing left to do then is to remove some protection from the crawler tracks and to undo some tape around the boom top. There's a simple instruction sheet provided with the model and that just gives basic information as to how to operate the various functions but it doesn't cover every feature of the model. In terms of detail the metal tracks look good and although there are no working rollers on the track frames there are some decent graphics and steps. The cab is completely plastic but with some good details although the grab rails are a bit on the fat side. Around the sides of the body there's some very fine detailing with some excellent small graphics. At the rear the counterweights look good but they are all a solid block. The securing chains are perhaps a bit too silver and the brass pulleys don't look realistic. The walking surface on top of the body has an extremely fine non-slip texture. Some of the other parts are plastic and that includes the stepping plate outside the cab and also all of the handrails are plastic but their appearance is quite reasonable. The boom lattice is metal and generally ok, although some of the connections are riveted and are not realistic. There's a plastic walkway fitted the length of the boom and there's a working drum on the boom foot. Moving up to the boom head things look pretty good, although the brass pulleys would have been better either painted or perhaps silver. One unusual detail is the boom pendants which are a flexible plastic and of fixed length, so they're not adjustable. The grab is metal, although the silver rivets would have been better painted and inside there are brass pulleys. Much of the upper structure of the grab is plastic. Looking first at the crawler tracks, they roll reasonably well, they're not perfectly smooth, but the track frames are extendable so they can be narrow like this for transport and then widened up when they're on site, which is a bit interesting because the rest of the model can't be broken down uh, to a transport configuration. If we test out the tracks on a smooth surface then they don't really want to roll, there's just too much friction there. And even on a rougher surface they are reluctant to roll along smoothly. On the other hand rotating the crane is pretty smooth and it can be rotated fully one way or the other without too much of a problem. To gain access to the winches there's a removable side panel so this is much better than having holes in the bodywork in order to work the winches and inside you can see there are two giant keys which can just be unclipped and when you've got those out you can use those to work any of the three winches that are present on the model. The first one to try is the winch for luffing the boom and you just press the key in and you just rotate it. The winch is held by pure friction only and if you give the A-frame a bit of a lift you can then um, unwind the uh, luffing winch and then you can see that the, the boom moves. Although the way the model is configured you can't get the boom um, really fully upright because the pendants are probably a little bit too long. The other two winches operate the grab and they are spring loaded so you push them in a bit to release the brake. One raises and lowers the whole grab attachment and the other one actually opens the grab. But the issue that you can see happening here is that, is that as soon as you operate the grab, the grab attachment starts spinning. So it can be difficult to pose it with the grab actually up in the air and hanging properly from the um, boom top. But with that said, the grab itself is pretty good and um, it does open and close really quite well. And here you can see in a bit more detail the way the mechanism actually works. It's always good to see a model of foundation equipment and this model from Ross is interesting. There's some very nice detailing but it's just not as flexible as it could have been if the boom could have been removed and if it could have been stripped down for transport loads. But overall it's good enough to be recommended. Mm -hmm.